In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at some additional uh, array functions that are provided by the underscore library. Um, in order to make use of them, you actually have to have the underscore library included in your web page like we do here. You can either download it uh, as a, just an individual file and include it in your web application, or you can actually make use of it from a CDN as we are here. So one of the cool things about underscore is it provides a lot of different array uh, manipulation functions. We're going to take a look at the without function, the union function, the intersection function, and the difference function today. So coming into our example here, let's take a look at the without method. So we're going to create a simple little array here called colors. And we'll put some colors into our array. Just like this. So we've got a bunch of colors in there. I intentionally have the color red twice. So let's go ahead and take a look first at the without function. So we're going to just do a little console.log here. And then do underscore without. Now what the without function does, it basically allows us to specify an array, then specify the items we'd like to have taken out of that array. So for example, in this case, I'm going to specify the colors array, and then I'm going to specify that I'd like to have the color red, and I'd like to have the color green actually removed from the array. So I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to load up my web browser, I'm going to reload my page, and we'll see that the remaining colors are blue, yellow, and black. If we come back here to our page, we'll see that we removed red and then also green from the array, yielding blue, yellow, and black. The next function we want to take a quick look at, take a look at the uh, union function. Now the union function is really helpful. It allows us to basically kind of combine two arrays or multiple arrays together, basically pulling out um, each array item that occurs at least once in each array without having any duplicates. So if we actually have our colors array, we'll specify another array here. We'll say uh, blue and um, brown and pink. And then we'll go ahead and specify one more array where we're going to say um, orange and then red. So now if we run this, we should see an array that basically includes each item in one large array, but not duplicate it. So we'll save that. We'll go back to our page here and reload. And if, as you can see, we have red, blue, green, yellow, black, brown, pink, and orange. But notice there are no duplicates. So whatever items were in all of those arrays, all of those items are here without any duplicates. The next function we want to take a look at after the union function is the intersection function. This is basically going to allow us to take multiple arrays and look for items that are in each of those arrays forming an intersection. Console.log, we'll do uh, intersection, colors, and then we'll specify an array here. We'll say blue, um, black, and then we'll throw in pink like this. We'll save that, reload this up in a web browser, and we're going to see that the only two items that are in common between those two arrays would be blue and black. So if we come here, pink does not exist in the original colors array, and then red and green and yellow do not exist in the second array. So we produce an array with just blue and black as an intersection of those two arrays. The final method that we want to take a look at is the difference method. With this, we basically specify an array, and it will return back to us the items that are not found in any other arrays. So we'll do console.log, and then we'll do difference and then we'll do colors. Now we're going to specify a second array here. So in this second array, I'm going to put blue and yellow. And what this is going to do is this is going to return back to me a colors array that does not include blue and yellow. So if I save this, reload the page, 
Whoop, we have a uh, unexpected token. Oh, got to have our closing parens there. Go back to our web browser, reload our page, and we'll see that um, that in fact blue and yellow are not in this array. We can also add another array to this. We could say, okay, also remove red. Save that, reload, and now red is gone as well. So as you can see, these are very helpful uh, functions for manipulating arrays, especially manipulating several arrays and doing intersections and unions and um, pulling out values that don't exist in both arrays or pulling out values that only exist in one array. Uh, a lot of very helpful methods here with underscore JS.